Hello and welcome to the channel. Magic squares have intrigued mathematicians for thousands of years. In the traditional magic square, the numbers in each row, column and diagonal add up to the same number. Here we have a different type of square with a seemingly random matrix. However, it possesses a magical property. A way to demonstrate this is by way of a party trick. Firstly, pick a number and then cross out the row and column it's in. Then pick another number from another row and column and repeat the process. After five picks, I will tell you the sum of the five numbers that you have chosen. Let's run through an example of this. Without me looking, you first pick the number three and put a coin on it and cross out the row and column in which it's in. You then repeat the process by choosing the numbers 17, eight and 10. The last number remaining is 19 and you are forced to choose it. Lastly, to your astonishment, I then tell you that the sum of your chosen numbers is 57. In fact, this square will always force the number 57. The rows and columns can be interchanged and it will still possess the property to force the number 57. Now, before we discuss how it works, you may want to pause the video if you wish to figure out how it works. Like most tricks, this one is very simple when explained. The table is nothing more than an old-fashioned addition table, arranged in a baffling way. It is generated by two sets of numbers. The first is arranged horizontally above the table and consists of the numbers 10, 2, 5, 16 and 0. The second one is placed vertically and consists of the numbers 8, 1, 5, 7 and 3. The sum of these 10 numbers is 57. You can see that the numbers in the cells are derived by adding the respective horizontal and vertical generating pairs. For example, the number 18 in the first cell is simply 8 plus 10. If we go back to the example trick, we can see how the process works. The number 3 is derived from the addition of the generating numbers 2 and 1. As the associated row and column are now crossed out, this pair cannot be used again. Similarly, the other four numbers are derived from the addition of the remaining four generating pairs. Thus, the coins cover up the sums of five different pairs of generating numbers, which is the same as the sum of the ten numbers that were used to derive the table. We will always force the number 57 from the process described. For a party trick, you could ask somebody to choose a number, say 42 and then to break this number up into any 10 numbers which can then be used as the generating numbers. The resulting table will then always force a sum of 42. It is probably best to limit the choice of force numbers to between 10 and 100 to make the numbers more manageable. Of course, you only need 8 numbers to generate a 4x4 matrix, and we shall now briefly look at such a case. One of the simplest ways to form an addition table on a square array is to write 1 in the first cell and then continue from left to right in serial order. A 4x4 four four matrix becomes an addition table for the two sets of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 0, 4, 8, 12. This matrix will force the number 34. The rows and columns in the matrix can be interchanged to make the numbers more baffling. This makes no difference to the force number which remains at 34. At the end of this video we will discuss some of the summation properties of such a matrix for those who are interested. The first cell in this table is labelled A for this purpose. Now there is one further variation on a party trick and that is to force any desired word on the audience using cards with letters on them. Suppose you wish to force the word Henry. You first form a square of 25 cards, the undersides of which are unknown to anyone but yourself. These bear the letters as shown in the table. Someone is then asked to pick a card by touching its back. This card is placed to the side without showing the face. All the other cards in the same row and column are removed. The procedure is repeated three more times. The one card remaining is placed with the other four that have been selected. The five cards are then turned over and rearranged to spell the word Henry. The magic square can also be used on birthday cards, where the recipient follows instructions to add their chosen numbers, only to find that the total is their age. For those of you who are not interested in some of the maths, then please end the video, and thanks for watching. For the others, please bear with me for another minute. 
Here we have some mass for those who wish to explore further. Now for the simple square matrix we saw earlier, the sum increases with the size of the matrix, as shown. For the simple case where the matrix is started off with the number 1, it can be shown that the sequence leads to a forced number, S, of n cubed plus n all over 2, where n is the size of the matrix. Now where the matrix is started off with the number A, other than 1, then S is as before, but an extra term of n times a minus 1 has to be added. This last expression can be used to calculate the starting number for a matrix of any desired size with any force number, and may be used for more elaborate tricks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to see more like this.